I am so excited about starting Fat Loss Fast Track. You have no idea. Oh my goodness, it starts tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you're new to my channel, on this channel, we talk about doing hard things with humor and a positive attitude. Today, I wanna to talk to you about Elizabeth Benton's Fat Loss Fast Track. The Fat Loss Fast Track starts tomorrow, and I'm like a mixture of nervous and excited. Uh, excited? Excited? Ugh. I'm a mixture of nervous and excited. So excited that I have apparently forgotten how to talk. I think the program is going to really help me change my mindset. It's supposed to not be, it's the anti-diet supposedly, where you change your mindset to stop thinking about diets and binging and eating and everything and you start living in the moment which conceptually is what I want to do with my life not just my eating. I'm also really nervous because if you google Elizabeth Benton on YouTube there's no other YouTubers out here supporting her and like Dave Ramsey there's a million and one YouTubers out there talking about Dave Ramsey but Elizabeth is new. She's only been doing this for a couple of years and so she's just starting to grow and I don't want to fail because I love her and her program so much that I want to do well if only for her. Obviously not if only for her. I want to do well for me too, but what if I don't and I'm putting this out there and it doesn't work? So that's a fear. It's a genuine fear. But if I have learned anything from listening to podcasts, she would give me a smackdown for that. And she would say, deal with the now, deal with right in this moment. So in this moment, I am nervous. I am 100% nervous. Not nervous because of what I just mentioned, but I'm nervous because of this. Can you see that? This right here, look at all those pages. I have done Weight Watchers on and off since I was about 12. And I love Weight Watchers, love it conceptually. I love their new program that is more like, very similar, oddly enough, to Elizabeth Benton and her concepts, minus they have the diet mindset. But the program has never really worked for me, in part because when I'm not doing well, it's most of the time I'm not tracking. And this notebook is all about tracking life. Not only am I gonna be tracking, but I'm gonna be tracking hourly. So I'm gonna do it because I am not going to break this promise to myself. I am committed to doing this and I am gonna do it. So wish me luck. Give me a thumbs up for good luck. So week four of the Fat Loss Fast Track has come and gone and oh my goodness, it has been an experience. I'm sure the first question y'all wanna know is how much weight have you lost? I should preface this with, keep in mind, I have lost 75 pounds. My metabolism is shot. I have been the exact same weight for the last, I don't know, 18 months probably. So for me to lose any is a monumental feat. So how much did I lose? I've actually lost three pounds. I can't believe it. And I've even lost an inch around my chest and a half an inch around my waist. Here are some of the things that are far more important than any weight I've lost. I've completely cut out sugar, completely. And I was doing really, really well not having any sugar until, as I've mentioned numerous times, my boss's wife is a baker. And she made brownies for my boss to bring into the office. And I saw them and they were beautiful. I mean, she had put a thick layer of powdered sugar on the top and they were these double-decker brownies that were filled with something in the middle, I didn't know what. And every time I walked past them, they were calling my name and I said, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna stress too much about this. I'm gonna have one brownie. So I picked the smallest one and I ate it and it was amazing. And in my journal, I wrote down that I ate it and that it was worth every calorie. It was delicious. And you know what? Starting that night, I started having sugar cravings. 
And would you believe those cravings lasted for two days? two entire days. It was miserable. I just, all I could think about was getting something sweet. And I tried to make healthy choices that would satisfy the craving and make it go away. Because I knew if I picked like a piece of candy or a candy bar, I would just be perpetuating the cycle. And eventually it did go away, but I promise you that brownie was not worth the cravings. And I'll tell you what, these are things that have probably been going on in my body my whole life and I had no idea. But it is the journaling and writing things down detailed that makes me realize these things. And so the next time I'm faced with a cookie or a brownie that my boss's wife has made, I might actually say no. Because for as good as it is and as delicious as it tastes, it is not worth suffering through two days of craving. If that is the only thing that I learn from now until the rest of the fat loss fast track, it has been worth every cent because that is huge. I have two months left of the fat loss fast track. So while I am going to do um, EB's, EB being Elizabeth Benton, while I'm gonna do her challenges every week, I'm gonna challenge myself because I don't know that she is going to require us to do the same sort of challenges that I need to do. My three big rocks are the volume of food I'm eating, as I mentioned, and I'm already tackling that. I tackled that within the first week and I will continue tackling that. My big rock number two is eating when I'm not hungry. And I do this a lot. And in fact, I did it even last night knowing that this is one of my big rock. Big rock number three. This one was surprising to me. And this is one I figured out through journaling. Wine. Not because of the calories, but because when I drink wine, I eat a lot. If you guys have any suggestions for calorie free drinks, I don't drink soda. So, you know, Diet Coke, those things, I don't drink those. Um, I regularly drink tea, iced tea, hot tea, and both herbal and caffeinated, you know, regular black teas. Um, I drink a lot of tea, water, and I don't drink juice because it's bad for your blood sugar. And I learned that when I was diabetic, so I cut juice out. So if y'all can come up with an awesome drink that I would love, one of the things I was thinking about trying is like doing a seltzer water with like maybe lime and cucumber or something like that. I don't know. I, I need something to replace wine because I drink wine because I enjoy drinking wine. So if you're interested in finding out more about it, I'll put a link in the description box down below and you can go over and check out her program. I love it. Love, love, love it. It is truly changing my life. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.